Here to tell us all about Sky Is Not The Limit is Zhao Wei. Please welcome to the stage, Zhao Wei. Thanks, King. Woo! Well, this is a photo I took for my wife during a trip to Victoria, Canada. Uh, where's my wife? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so anyway, she liked this photo. Oh, yeah, 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 here she is. This is wife there. Oh. So she liked this photo, and she liked this nice place, expression and pose, but just not the sky. So the sky was overexposed because we were facing the sun at that time, and we could not find a better angle to take another photo. I want to make the photo better, and so she's happy. <laughs> <laughs> so what could I do? <laughs> of course, I can try to find a good sky photo and then replace the current one within Photoshop. But it may take at least 10 minutes for someone like me. So no, I'm, n I'm not a Photoshop expert. But I have our auto automatic sky replacement technology. Let's try it. Let's load a sky image first. How about this one? So now let's click Replace Sky, and let's see what will happen. Here we are. So we have a new photo with a new sky. Woo! So to see it again, this is the original photo. And this is the result that we automatically generated with a single click. Good job. So to achieve this, we use deep learning to get a semantic understanding on the content of the image to know where the sky, the building, and the grass. Based on such a semantic understanding, we first segment out the sky area, then automatically align the new sky onto the original photo. So now the sky is better, but the original foreground is still too dark compared to the new sky. So as a final step, we also automatically adjust the foreground appearance based on its content and the new sky to make the final result more interesting. So to see it again, yeah. this is the result with the original foreground, mm -hmm. and this is the result with the adjusted foreground. You can Woo! See. No way! Yeah, you can see the grass area becomes much greener, right? So now my wife is happy. <laughs> but we can also try some other sky photos that can give, give us a totally different flavor, like this one with a rainbow. And let's click Replace Sky again, and let's see the re result. Here you are. Woo! So it's, yeah, it's very easy, right? And you can see this time, the sky is different, so the foreground is also adjusted differently to match the new sky. Uh, let's try another example, like this one. So this is a historical landmark here at Old Town San Diego. Apparently, it was a cloudy day, and the sky was dark. We want to replace it, but what if we don't have time to find good sky photos? We are busy, right? <laughs> so it's, there's no problem. We can just click Automatic Sky Replacement, and the algorithm will automatically find good sky photos for you and generate results like that. <laughs> wow. So to have a closer look, so this is the original photo, yep. and these are the results shown sequentially. Wow. Yeah. Woo! So you can see that the algorithm tried to find sky photos with very different styles so that at least one of them will be a preference. And with the sky photos changing, the foreground is also adjusted differently to match the style so that the final result look realistic and interesting. Let's go back to the initial set. So say you, you, you've already had a preference on a certain style. For example, you like this one with a blue sky. You can just click the result, and the algorithm will automatically generate more results with a similar styles for you to choose. So with this functionality, you can easily navigate through different sky photos and choose the one that you like. So this is our automatic sky replacement technology, an easy way to get your photo a new sky and a new look. At the end, I would like to thank the photographers of some of the sky photos I used in this demo. Thank you. Yeah.